Hi everybody. I have a question for you. Do you know why certain people become really, really good at what they do? It's because they focus on something that um, I actually heard of for the first time from, amazingly, a book. Ah, oh, this is gonna be backwards again. Okay, it says High Performance Habits. It's by Brendan Burchard, and I always forget to flip my camera around. It's called Prolific Quality Output. Output, and I always pronounce it wrong, but Prolific Quality Output is the one thing that you need to do in your industry to become number one. Um, and it's something that you put out, and the prolific part is important because you put out more than anyone else in your industry. So for instance, um, why did Seth Godin become so incredibly successful? Because, because he published book after book after book, article after article after article. Why did Michael Jordan become so good at basketball? Because he took more shots. Why is Tom Brady an amazing quarterback, no matter what you think of the Patriots? It's because he throws more balls, he, he makes more passes, he takes more risks, he does more of the same thing than anyone else does um, in, his, in, in his case, in his sport. So if you're looking at your business and you're like, I want to become the absolute best I can, I want to be famous about it, I want to build a brand, I want to exceed my competitors, I want to build a life that I can really value, you need to figure out your PQO, your prolific quality output. If you want to be a writer, well guess what your PQO is? It's writing books. If you want to be a graphic designer, you know, and you want to be the best graphic designer, best known graphic designer, you need to put out as much stuff as you can. Images, um, maybe little short videos, whatever it is, that when someone in your industry puts it out, the more you put it out, the better known you're going to be. If you are in sales and you want to exceed all of the sales um, quotas and all of the sales goals, you need to make more appointments with quality leads so that you can actually achieve those goals. So for each of us, there are things that we need to do that are going to move our careers forward. If you want to be a speaker, you need to, your PQO would be as many paid events as possible. Not the freebie ones, not the ones you're begging people to get you know, on stage for as a favor. These are ones that paid gigs at a certain price, this is what you do. You go get an agent, you get them to help you. If you want to be a writer, right? Maybe you get an agent to help you get publishing deals or at least show you how to do self-publishing, right? If you want, again, if you want to be um, a coach, Right? If you want to be a coach, you want to, you want to do it yourself, you want to coach other people, you need to have strategy calls. As many strategy calls as you can possibly put in where you qualify people, you have that strategy call, and then you can sell them into your programs. So many people spend their time on anything but their PQOs. They're rearranging their emails into folders, which science has proven actually makes it worse. Right, so if you're one of those people that spends you know, two hours rearranging your Gmail folders, you're procrastinating. So there's two things that will get in the way of how you spend your time and what takes you away from your PQOs, against prolific quality output. And that is procrastination and perfectionism. Procrastination is not a mindset, um, it's simply fear. And because we have fear or we don't believe in ourselves, we procrastinate. Or another big reason is that we don't love what we're doing, right? I ran an agency for five, six, seven years. I closed it down because I didn't love the work and it did and I, I would procrastinate. And my clients actually started getting really not terrible service, but not service that I wanted um, that I would be happy with providing to them. And so I really had to take a hard look of what really does give me meaning, what makes me feel fulfilled, what gives me energy when I wake up every day. And what it's turned into is actually the high performance coaching. So I still do a little bit of that, so that digital social media marketing coaching, but I've wrapped around it a whole other high performance methodology that the likes of Oprah Winfrey, US presidents, for, um, the Fortune 50 companies, the CEOs of those organizations, this is the kind of training that they received to become higher performers. And now I'm able to deliver it to people like you because it matters. Um, and uh, and I'm, I'm so glad that you guys, I uh, just thought uh, your comment there, oh, and I'm gonna butcher your name, is it 
an, 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 an Oh shoot, you're gonna have to show me, uh, you're gonna have to leave me a voice message on how to pronounce your first name. But anyway, I'm so glad that you love to listen to, uh, to my videos, even though I might butcher your, your name as I'm trying to speak it. Um, but at the end of the day, folks, the best thing you can possibly do is determine what is your PQO. What is the one or maybe two things that you need to do to excel at in your industry or at your job, right? So because this works, it's not just for people who run their own businesses. This same methodology, the whole idea of the PQO applies just as much to people who are in a career and they want to get hired within the organization or maybe they want, they have a job in another organization and they really, really want to get it. What do you have to do to get that? Reverse engineer it, make sure that it's something that matters to you and just go for it, right? Another question people have, and I'll just leave you with this, how much of your time should be spent on your PQO? And the answer might shock you. 60% of your time in your whole week needs to be focused on your PQO. So if you want to be a writer, then 60% of your time has to be focused on writing, editing, promoting, launching your book. If you want to be the top salesperson, 60% of your time must be focused on acquiring, meeting, and following up with those qualified leads. So if you, and imagine, if you spent 60% of your time on the one or two things that are gonna move your business forward, that are gonna make your life better, that are gonna increase the meaning of uh, what you are doing to yourself and to your clients, how much more energy will you have? How much better will your life be and when you focus on things like this, like impact, the income will follow. So many people freak out about money. They wanna make money, make money, make money. They forget about whether or not what they're doing matters to them and if they're really giving a good service. And most often, those people who are focused on income are spiraling away at a whole bunch of different stupid things that is actually not gonna help their business. They're whittling their time away in their emails, they're checking their notifications, they're scrolling through their social media, they're wasting their time with hour and a half lunches with people that aren't gonna move them forward, um, and in the end, they get nowhere. Okay, so focus on your PQOs, guys. PQO, prolific quality output. Find out what yours should be, spend all your time doing that, and that, my friends, is how you're gonna move yourself forward, okay? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. Um, if you want, if you wanna challenge yourself, put your PQO down below. I'd love to hear what it is that you're working on that you believe that if you could spend 60% of your time in your whole week working just on that thing, imagine where it could take you. And maybe you're already there. If so, congratulations. There's a lot of people. If you're already there, there's a lot of people who need to hear from you. So I hope you'll leave a comment below. Have a wonderful afternoon, guys. Take care.